With the advent of the Wii, Xbox, and PlayStation, less and less kids can be found on the playground. Hub City TV reporter Tabor Daniels investigates whether that's a bad thing. This may look like a lot of fun, but for many kids, going to the playground is not as high on their list. I would play video games, to be honest. A legitimate alternative to the playground, more and more kids are preferring video games as a big source of entertainment. But even John admits there are some setbacks. If you don't want to go eat, like whenever you're playing the game, you don't, like say someone's talking to you in the house and you don't even hear them, or if that's all you're thinking about is the video game. With more kids opting to play video games rather than go to the playground, should parents combat these new gaming habits? Uh, I won't necessarily combat it. I was trying to incorporate it like the new uh, systems, the Kinect and the Wii. They have games where the kids get up and get active. Instead of them holding the controller, they are the controller. Anthony Alton is a teen program instructor for the Boys and Girls Club at YMCA. He designs many of his after school programs to keep kids engaged. Dance games, uh, adventure games, sports games where they get up and they have to be active. Um, and through that, we kind of incorporated to show them where you can be, you know, healthy and still play video games at the same time. Kids are the same. They still play, just not as much on the playground. This is Tabari Daniels reporting for Hub City TV.